Have you ever caught yourself staring in the mirror and wondering if that really expensive eye cream has done anything for your eye bags, your eye wrinkles, or your dark circles? Well, you're not alone, and today we're gonna dive deep into the world of eye creams, eye concealers, and unveil the real MVP in the battle against aging eyes. Spoiler alert, it's not at all what you think. I'm Tara, I'm a 43-year-old medical esthetician that's been practicing with lasers and medical grade skincare for over 18 years, and I'm here to teach you about your skin anatomy and all the devices on the market. Let's be real, how many of us have a graveyard of half-used eye creams or eye serums that promised us the fountain of youth? While some of these potions might have a temporary like plumping up effect or hydrating effect or even a deep puffing effect, expecting them to fix or erase wrinkles is like expecting a band-aid to fix a broken leg. Between the formulations, the pH levels, and the molecular weight, it's very difficult for products to penetrate through the epidermis and into the dermis and get to the root cause of a lot of signs of aging. Let's talk about all the concerns people have around their eyes. Let's talk about what we're currently doing to treat them and what we could be doing to give ourselves a much better result. On the one side, we see hereditary pigment deposits, you know, that are usually always around the eye that are most common in darker skin types. Then we see other people that have vasculature that contribute to like a shadowing effect in the tear trough or anywhere really around the eye. And these are those purpley, more blue veins that we see. So what have you guys always been doing for your dark circles? You've probably used a brightening cream. You've probably used retinol, retinoic acid, tretinoin. And what happens? It gets better for a certain time, but then when you stop using the products, it goes right back, right? The bleaching creams, hydroquinone, you know, you can only be on for three months or three weeks, depending on the strength, and then you have to go off of it again. Do you really want to be using a cream that has carcinogenic properties all the time? Probably not. So what could you be doing that saves you more time and money in the long run, and that has a better outcome for you in terms of dramatic results? but also last longer. Well, let me tell you about a little phrase called non-ablative lasers. These are lasers that don't ablate the epidermis. So they heat up the dermis to stimulate a small amount of collagen and elastin without causing the downtime. Clear and Brilliant is an excellent option for around the eyes. It's safe and effective as long as you're wearing those interocular shields. My personal favorite is Moxie. If you guys have ever heard of Moxie, and this is safe for every skin type out there, you would basically undergo anywhere from one to three treatments around the eyes. And it just really does such a great job at breaking up that pigment that is so st notoriously stubborn. Now let's talk about the dark circles that come from the vascular component, the blue veins that are creating that shadow. And what a lot of people don't understand is that these are just cosmetic vessels. They show up normally with like fair skinned individuals or people that are losing, you know, fat in their face when it comes to aging. So these veins are not coming from the brain, but they are part of the external venous drainage system, but these do not tell us anything about brain circulation. These are also not retinol or optic nerves. Eye veins that affect your eyesight are gonna be inside your eye, not around it. So what are people doing right now to kind of help conceal some of the shadows? For one, they're injecting filler, right? Droplets of filler. There's easy gel, There's which is PRP. There is microneedling with radio frequency. There are a lot of different treatments, but they always seem to fall short because again, you're not treating the root cause. Again, these veins are strictly cosmetic, so the answer is to treat them with a 1064 ND YEG. That's a fancy way of saying a laser, but this laser completely avoids the top layer of your skin and only targets the blue vessels. So whether they're purple or blue, just know that there is a treatment out there for you and it literally is more of a one and done. So you just zap those little veins and they usually go away completely. They don't come back. And if you guys want a recommendation for the best device to get done for that specific problem is, I think hands down the Clear V by Cyton. And the reason being is that device, you know, the 1064 gets very hot. So you have to be very cautious of what you're treating. And so with this specific design, it has a very cold plate at the very tip of this. So the plate goes on the skin to keep it really, really cold. And then you have a light illuminator 
that shows the provider exactly where they can treat. So not only are you super precise, you're keeping the skin happy and cool and you're getting resolution very quickly and very easily with these veins. There really isn't any downtime. It's like they disappear on contact. It's one of the very few treatments where you get immediate gratification. There's no scarring, there's no issues, but that Clear V, hands down, is my favorite, and I've used a few others as well. Now this next eye concern is not too common, but every now and then I will have a patient that has this, but it's called xanthelasma. And it starts off with little tiny, they almost look like white flat bumps, if that makes sense, on the skin. I'll insert a picture here for you guys. But it's basically cholesterol deposits on the eyelids. And this is so easy to treat. As of right now, not a lot of people have a lot of options. There may be a prescriptive cream that you can use for this, but by far the best treatment is an Erbium Spot Ablation. This tool is like magic. You just erase and flatten these guys down. Of course, you're gonna have some downtime. You're gonna be red, but it is more of a one and done. This could come back or rebound again, but it's likely not for years. Let's talk about eye wrinkles. This is the most popular concern that people have with their eyes. What do we do, right? Everybody runs to Botox. Botox, Dysport, Zeman, Daxify. Pick your neuromodulator, and that's what people use to treat them. Now, that's all well and fine, I think, in your 30s, but once you get into your 40s, or maybe your 50s or 60s, yes, you're controlling the muscle. However, when you're not expressing yourself and you're just kind of stationary, you will see that kind of crepiness to the skin. And that's where I employ a lot of us to just get a laser treatment because the ablative fractionated laser is hands down my favorite option for eyelid skin health. Not only are you targeting elasticity, you're targeting crepiness, fine lines and dynamic expression lines, like you're building collagen and elastin in areas that you need it most. And the wonderful thing about that is, is it's anywhere from one to three sessions, once a month or once every few months, and your eyelids can just be transformed from that. And I like this also because we, we know with Botox, you're coming in like every three months for Botox, right? Well, with lasers, your results can last longer and longer and longer if you are pretty consistent. Once a year, maybe twice a year if you really need it. All depends on the person, right? Halfway through the day, all that makeup, all the tinted sunscreen gets lodged into your lines and you actually end up looking worse. So if you have not considered this option, I would highly recommend it. Talk to a friend, look it up online, and you'll see. I've got a lot more content coming so you guys can actually see the recovery and understand it um, a little bit better so you're not afraid of it. But this is absolutely 1000% my favorite treatment for eyelid skin for wrinkles. Now what if you have a lot more skin laxity on the upper lid, maybe the bottom lid, maybe you have those festoons that kind of hang a little bit lower onto the mid face. Well, can laser help with that? Absolutely it can help your skin, but I'm gonna tell you, you're still gonna be a surgical candidate. That type of degree of laxity is gonna require a blepharoplasty, either an upper or a lower, and maybe even some fat grafting. That's where they take fat from one area of the body and they implant it or inject it into the eyelid skin. The honorable mention is microneedling with radio frequency. Can it help with all of those eye aging issues? Absolutely it can. It's just, I think it wasn't my number one choice because I've seen so much variability between patients. You know, you could have the same age patient with the same skin type and one would do better than the other. So in terms of its reproducibility and predictability, I, it will be an honorable mention, but it's not gonna be my top choice. So now you're probably wondering like, okay, so there's no eye cream in the world that's gonna help with any of my skin issues. That's not necessarily true, but I think when it comes to what you should expect from an eye cream, the bar should be lower, right? I think skin creams are absolutely wonderful and eye serums, anything with caffeine, retinol, any of those derivatives of retinols are great adjuncts to lasers. But I think on their own, are less than remarkable and you know again it can work it's just you have to be very very consistent and you had to have start started 
when you were younger for that to really be effective. So if I have a 40 year old or a 50 year old that comes to me and says, hey, what can I do about this um, eyelid skin? I'm not gonna tell them to go get a retinol cream. I think it's also important to follow the clinical studies in PubMed too. There's so many clinical studies around CO2 laser and even non-ablative laser for the treatment of eyelid skin. For example, this one um, highlighted 31% improvement in periorbital wrinkles that lasted over a two-year follow-up period after a CO2 fractional laser resurfacing, there is definitely more of a prolonged effect with lasers than there is with other things that you have to be topically consistent with. And then there is another study that showed that fractional laser treatments can lead to significant improvements in skin elasticity and a reduction in both the number and depth of wrinkles. For instance, a study published in the Journal of Cosmetic Dermatology, it found that non-ablative fractional laser therapy led to significant improvements in skin elasticity, reduction in both. Specifically, 21 out of 24 patients reported enhanced elasticity and noticeable wrinkle reduction following the treatment. And this aligns with what I have seen in clinic, like time after time, you know, I'll, we'll do the laser treatment, they come back for their photography sessions and their follow-ups, and you can see a remarkable difference between even one laser session and eye wrinkles. And you know, when it comes down to it, would you rather use a cream for five years to see some difference or one laser treatment with some recovery time where you see remarkable improvement? Now this next statement might offend you, but there is no fancy ingredient out there that is going to get through the stratum corneum of your skin into the dermis and treat wrinkles at the root cause. So save your money. So now let's move into the next section, the best under eye concealers for mature skin. I have comprised just a very short list of my personal tried and true. Again, no affiliation with any brands. This is just what I believe. The NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I personally love this one. It just a little bit goes a long way. I use my little ring finger to just dab it in and it is just so good. The importance with mature skin is always using less, but putting it in the right spot, dabbing it just in the tear trough, mainly all in here, up to the nose, up to the upper eyelid, and just really getting heavy here and then brush out to the side of the face like this and it just looked so much more natural. But hopefully you'll have lasers and you won't have to worry about this step too Maybelline much. Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser. I have personally not tried this product at all, but because it has that ingredient, Haloxyl, it really helps with dark circles and everybody always talks about this. So there's gotta be something to it. Last favorite concealer is the It Cosmetics. I think it's called Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer but I just really like this one. It's super pigmented, so literally a little bit goes a long way for you guys. Um, and it just is super hydrating. It doesn't feel like cakey. It doesn't feel too thin. So because of the pigmentation, I just think it does a really easy, simple job at covering up any of those like shadows. So while the allure or the dream of using an eye cream or potion or lotion is going to just magically improve your eyes is strong, it's really important to set realistic expectations for yourselves. Understand how much you're really spending at the end of that calendar year on these things that just end up in our graveyard, right? I mean, I don't know about you guys, maybe I'll do a video on my skincare graveyard because it is insane how many products I have tried along the years and thankfully I've been very grateful to have a lot of brands dump a lot of products in my lap and I've been able to try so many things out there. So finishing up, here are some actionable steps that you guys can take next. Go find yourself a qualified, professional, high customer rating dermatologist, medical esthetician, nurse. Really find the person that does these laser treatments day in and day out. And when you get into their door, ask them, what are your recommendations? Ask them, how deep does this laser go? Make sure that you're vetting them to know that they know what they're talking about. Number two, use your eye creams and serums as supportive care. Get the laser treatments and then move into maintenance with some of your eye creams and serums. Number three, invest in a high quality concealer. Throughout your laser journey, there is that recovery period and you're gonna be red and you're gonna wanna conceal it. I did recommend some really good ones, but post-procedure, 
Another honorable mention is Oxygenetics. It covers so, so well, and it is so handy to have post-procedure. It agrees with the inflammation. It doesn't exacerbate anything. Just invest in it. You're gonna be very thankful that you did. Now, if there's a cream or a serum that you're not sponsored by, that you love, put it in the comments because I would love to know what you think is great. Maybe there's something out there that I have not tried. Thank you guys for watching all the way through. If you have a friend that is a skincare junkie or an eye cream junkie and she needs a intervention, definitely share this video with her and we can get her on the right track. Thanks again, bye.